If you're looking to increase sales and customer loyalty on Shopify, a great way to do this would be to offer discounts. Discounts are an excellent way to promote the products in your Shopify store and incentivize customers to make a purchase. They can be used in many ways, such as to promote limited time sales in your store, provide special offers on specific products, or simply to show appreciation to your customers. In this video, we'll cover the various discount types that you can offer, how to create the discounts in your Shopify store, and the process for customers to use the discounts during checkout. There are two main discount types that you can offer to your customers, which are discount codes and automatic discounts. Discount codes are codes that you create on Shopify that you can share individually, while automatic discounts are automatically applied in the customer cart and at checkout. Also, there may be times when you want to allow customers to combine discounts, which can be done with discount combinations. So let's head over to Shopify and go over how to create discounts and promotions for your products. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you access your free trial by heading over to jasongandy.info or by clicking the link in the video description. No credit card is required to unlock your free trial, and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely one of the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, manage your products, and create discounts and promotions. To create a new discount for our Shopify store, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the discounts tab. This will take you to the discounts page where you can create new discount codes and automatic discounts for your Shopify store. Whenever you create a new discount, you'll be able to view and manage them from here. Currently, I don't have any discounts set up for my Shopify store, so let's go over the process to add one now. So to create a new discount, let's click the Create Discount button. This will open up a new window where you can select your discount type. There are several discount types you can select from, such as Amount Off Products, where the customer gets a discount on selected products, Amount Off Order, where the customer gets a discount on their order, the Buy One Product, Get Another Product Discount, and a free shipping discount. So for the first example, let's start with the Amount Off Products discount type. Once you select your discount type, you'll be taken to a page where you can enter your discount details. In the Methods section, you can select to create a discount code or an automatic discount. For this example, I'm going to create a discount code. If you select to create a discount code, you'll also see a text field at the bottom where you can enter a name for your code. If you don't feel like coming up with a name for your code, you could click the Generate button on the right hand side here to have your code randomly generated. But if you're creating a code for a specific purpose or event, I recommend naming it something that's easily recognizable. You don't want it to be too easy where anybody can guess your code, but you want it to be something that represents your promotion. For my example, I'm creating a discount code for a back to school promotion where people can get 10% off my Quantum Designs backpacks. With this in mind, I named my discount code Back to School 10. Now we can move on to the next section here, which is our value section. This is, of course, where you can select the value of your discount code. Your value can either be a percentage discount or a fixed dollar amount discount. For my back to school discount code, let's do a value of 10%. And as a quick note, as you enter your coupon code information, all of the details will be automatically updated in the summary here on the right hand side. So now that I've selected my value, let's move on to the applies to section. Here you can select to have your coupon code applied to specific collections in your online store or to specific products. Since I'm creating a coupon code specifically for my backpacks, let's select specific products. You can then use the menu at the bottom here to select the collections or the products that you want your discount code to be applied to. I could simply search for my product in the text field here, but let's click on browse. This will pull up a window where I can view all of the products that are available in my Shopify store. Not only can you see all of your products, but also all of the variants that you've added to each product as well. This is in case you want to apply your coupon code to certain variants of your product and not others. An example of this would be to have a coupon code that provided a discount for red shirts, but not white shirts. 
And if you wanted to select all the product variants, simply select the checkbox beside the product itself. You can apply your discount code to whatever product or product variants in your store that you wish. But for my coupon code, let's go up to the search bar here and search for backpack. I can then select the checkbox beside my Quantum Design Sports backpack, then click on the add button at the bottom right. Once you select the products and variants for your coupon code, you'll see them appear at the bottom of the menu here. So the next section we have here is our sales channels. Here you can see all of the sales channels you currently have connected to Shopify. You can select which sales channels you want your discounts to be promoted and visible, but keep in mind that your online store is included by default. For my example discount, I only want it available in my online store, so I'm not going to select any sales channels. So the next section we have here is the minimum purchase requirements. This is where you can set a minimum order amount before your discount can be used. You can select to have no requirements, a minimum purchase amount, or a minimum quantity of items. As an example, let's select a minimum purchase amount that the customer has to spend before using the discount. To use your discount code, the customer will have to spend this amount on any of the products that you selected earlier. So since I've only selected book bags for my back to school promotion, customers will need to add at least $100 worth of book bags to their shopping cart in order to use the discount. The next section we have here is the customer eligibility. Here's where you can select which of your customers can use your discount. If you like, you can select specific customer segments or specific customers that can use your discount. But for my discount code, I'm going to select all customers. Once you select your customer eligibility, you can then move down to your maximum discount uses. Here's where you can limit the number of times your discount can be used in total or limit your discount to one use per customer. If you want to limit the number of uses, simply type in the number of times it can be used. But for my discount code, I'm going to select to limit it to one use per customer. In the next section here, you can select your discount combinations. In order for the discount that you're creating to be combined with other discounts, you'll need to select it here. You can allow your discount to be combined with other product discounts and with shipping discounts. Keep in mind that discounts can only be combined with other discounts that have been set up with combinations. We'll be going over a combination example later, so let's select to allow combinations for my code. And in the last section here, you can select the active dates for your discount code. Simply use the menus here to select a start date and a start time for your code, and if you like, you can also set an end date. For my back to school code, let's select an end date for the end of the month. So once you finish entering all the details for your discount, make sure you look at the right hand side and go over your summary and make sure everything is correct. So for my back to school discount, it's an amount off products discount with a discount code. It provides my customers with 10% off my sports backpack if they purchase a minimum of $100 worth of backpacks. It's available to all customers but can only be used once per customer. This discount can be combined with other product and shipping discounts and is active from today until the end of the month. So if everything looks good, go ahead and go down to the bottom right and click on save discount. And my new back to school discount code has been created. If you wanted to email your code to your customers or share it on social media, you can use the promote tab at the top right or simply click the get shareable link here. You'll then see a new window pop up where you can copy the link to your discount. You can also select your discount link landing page, which can either be your product page or your home page. I want my link to send my customers to my product page, so let's keep that selected and click on copy link. Once I've created my discount and copied the link, I can then use it to promote my products on my social media page. When a customer clicks my discount link, they'll be taken to the product page where they can view my product. Since they use my discount link to get to my online store, the discount will be automatically applied once the items in their cart meets the right criteria. So remember that for my discount, for example, the customer needs to have at least $100 worth of book bags in their cart. One book bag is only $45, so in order for the discount to apply, they'll need to add two more. Luckily, this is a family of five, so it works out perfect. So once the customer meets the requirements for the discount, they can then go ahead and click on checkout. And here's where they can see that the back to school discount has been applied to their purchase. 
Since they got to my store using my discount link, the discount has automatically been applied. But if they wanted to enable the discount using the code, they can enter the discount code here. Once they enter the correct code, they can then click on apply and it'll be applied to the items in their cart. So now let's head back over to the discounts menu in our Shopify dashboard. We can now view the back to school discount code I just created, its status, the number of times it's been used, and other information. Whenever you create a new discount for your Shopify store, it'll be viewable here. If you click the checkbox beside any of your discounts, you'll see a menu where you can activate or deactivate your selected discounts. And if you click the icon on the right, you can also delete your discounts. So we've gone over how to create a discount code. So now let's quickly go over how to create an automatic discount and combine the discounts. So to create a new automatic discount, let's go up to the top right and click the create discount button. For this example, I think I'll try the buy X get Y product discount. You should then be taken to the create product discount page. In the method section, let's select automatic discount. Once you select your method, you can then come up with a discount title. Keep in mind that the customers will be able to see the title in their cart and during checkout. Next, we have the customer buys section. Here's where you can select your minimum quantity of items or minimum purchase amount that the customer needs before using your discount. For this example, I'm going to select to use a minimum purchase amount and I'm going to set my amount for $150. And instead of spending the $150 on specific products, I'm going to use the drop down menu here to select specific collections. I can now click the browse button beside the search bar at the bottom here and select which collections I want to use with my discount. So let's select my home and living collection, then go down to the bottom and click on add. So now my discount is set up to automatically be applied when the customer adds at least $150 worth of products from my home and living collection to their cart. So now that we've selected what the customer spends, let's select what the customer gets. For my quantity, I'm just going to allow one item. And if I click the drop down menu here, I can allow them to get any items from specific products that I select or specific collections. I think I'm going to go with specific products. To select the products I want to include in my discount, let's click the browse button here. I can then select specific products or specific product variants to include in my discount. For this example, I'm going to give them a discount on my men's classic tee. Once you select the products you want to include, go down to the bottom right and click on add. You can then select the discounted value you want to provide to your customer for your selected products. You can select to give the customer a percentage discount or give them the item for free. I'm going to do a percentage discount. For my percentage, let's give them 15% off. If you like, you can also click the checkbox here to set a maximum number of uses per order. I think I'll just set mine to 1. Now that we've selected what the customer gets, let's move down and check out the combination section. Remember that in order for two discounts to be used simultaneously, they'll need to be set up with combinations. We already set up one discount earlier with combinations, so we should see it here under the other product discounts option. Let's also select shipping discounts in case I want to combine it with shipping discounts later. Now that I've allowed combinations for my discount, I can now go down and set my active dates. Let's set an end date for the end of the month. So before we save our discount, let's check the summary on the right hand side. So for my new year discount, the discount type is a buy one product, get another with a percent off. The method is an automatic discount and the customer has to spend $150 in one of my collections to get one item at 15% off. It can be used once per order and it can be combined with other product and shipping discounts. So if everything looks good, go ahead and click on save discount at the bottom right. And my new automatic discount has been created for my Shopify store. If we head back over to the discounts main menu, we can view and manage both of the discounts that I've created so far. So now that I've created an automatic discount, let's go through the checkout process and make sure the discount is working as it should. To enable my automatic discount, first the customer needs to add $150 worth of products from my home and living collection to their cart. So both of these products are from my home and living collection and the total is $153. 
Now I should be able to add my men's classic tee to my cart and receive a discount. So let's go to my products, go to my men's classic tee, add it to my cart, and voila, there's my 15% automatic discount. With automatic discounts, customers can actually see them directly in their cart. So now that I know my automatic discount works, let's head back over to the discounts menu. From here, let's click the create discount button at the top right. So we've gone over how to create discount codes and automatic product discounts. So now let's go over how to create a free shipping discount. To create a free shipping discount, start by naming your discount code. For this example, I'm just going to name it free ship now. In the countries section, you can select to enable your free shipping code in all countries or selected countries. Shipping can get pretty expensive when shipping internationally, so I'm just going to enable my code in the US. If you like, you can also click here to exclude shipping rates that are over a certain amount. So if I enter $100 here, any order with shipping over $100 won't be included in this promotion. Next, you can select the sales channels you want to include, but remember that your online store is included by default. In the minimum purchase requirements section, you can set a minimum purchase amount, a minimum quantity of items, or no minimum requirements. For my discount, let's select a minimum purchase amount. In order to use my free shipping discount, let's set the minimum purchase amount to $150. This applies to all products, so whenever a customer purchases $150 from my store, they can use my discount code for free shipping. In the next section here, you can select your customer eligibility. You can select specific customers or customer segments, but I'm going to leave it on all customers. Under maximum discount uses, you can limit the number of times your discount can be used in total, or limit it to one use per customer. And under combinations, let's allow my new shipping discount to be combined with my product discounts, which we've already created two of, and my order discounts. And finally, we can set the active dates for our free shipping discount. Let's set mine for the end of the month. So now that we've set up our free shipping discount, let's check out the summary. The type of discount is a free shipping discount, and the method is a discount code. The customer can receive free shipping on all products as long as they're in the United States, and the shipping rate has to be under $100. They have to purchase a minimum of $150 worth of items, and it's available to all customers. It's only one use per customer, and it can be combined with other product and order discounts. So if everything looks good, go ahead and go down and click on Save Discount. And my new free shipping discount has been created. So as long as customers have $150 worth of items in their cart, they should be able to use the free ship now discount code to get free shipping. Also, it should be able to be combined with my other product discount. So to make sure it works, let's head over to my Shopify store. So let's say the customer has two Quantum Designs candles and three book bags in their cart. Since they have three backpacks, they should qualify for the back to school discount and since the total is over $150, they should be able to combine it with the free shipping discount as well. So let's continue the checkout process and see if we can combine our discounts. And as you can see, since the customer already has the required amount of backpacks in their cart, the back to school discount has already been applied. So now let's enter my free shipping discount code and see if they can both be combined. Once you type in your code, go ahead and click on apply. And there we have it. The discount combination worked and both discount codes have been applied to my cart. The customer can now happily continue the checkout process with their new updated price. So that's a quick overview of how to create discounts and promotions on Shopify. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.